turns out, I didn't have either of the clickers because Brother Ken had them at his house. So Tyler ran home with 10 minutes, ran to Ken's house with 10 minutes to spare, and now we have the clicker. So thank you, Tyler. I appreciate it. Tonight's lesson is going to be entitled, Losing Worry, or Saying Goodbye to Worry. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a topic that applies to everyone, young or old, because everyone has worried at some time or another. So, before we talk about worry in the Bible, though, we need to understand what worry is. Well, worry is never enjoyable. I can't remember a time that I've enjoyed worrying about how I did on my biology test. Also, worry is accompanied by stress and is often a cause of anxiety. Now, let's look at an example of worry in the Bible. Luke chapter 10, verses 38 through 42, talk about two different sisters, one who chose what was important and one who chose to worry. I'm going to go ahead and read from this uh, passage. If you want to turn there, it's Luke chapter 10, verses 38 through 42. Now it happened as they went that he entered a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was distracted with much serving, and she approached him and said, Lord, um, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore, tell her to help me. And Jesus answered her, and Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled with many things, but one thing is needed, and Mary has chosen that good part, which will not be taken away from her. <clears throat> so, as we see in this passage. Martha was becoming obsessed with worry. Worry robbed her of any joy, and worry caused her to focus on herself. I have this fun little picture up here that I thought was pretty cool. It says, worrying won't stop the bad stuff from happening. It just stops you from enjoying the good. This was, the, this was what happened in Martha's case. She, she completely was distracted by worry and the problems that she had, and she had no joy after that. She was too focused on what she was supposed to do. Now, obviously, there are some ways that we can control our lives. We can make plans, but we still have to realize that your calendar isn't always your own. We can't have control over everything. In the end, it's God who decides the ultimate outcome. So why do we worry? Well, life is unpredictable. We don't always know what's going to happen next. Maybe we don't feel adequately prepared for the things that might happen. Maybe, you know, sometimes we will have guests over to our house and mom will tell me to clean my room. But I'll tell you, I'm much more worried about, I'm less worried about what the people are going to think of me if I don't clean my room and more worried about the lecture I'm going to get later if I don't clean my room. Um, if, we, if we really look at it, worry is all about fear. We'll talk a little bit more about this later, but first let's talk about fear in the Bible. The Bible tells us that fear is a blessing from God to warn us of danger. You know, maybe when you were little, your parents told you not to run in the street. Well, once I figured out what would happen if I ran in the street, I was scared that I was going to get hit by a car. You know, this same principle applies to us in our spiritual lives. 2 Timothy 1 and verse 7 reads, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So, really, fear itself is not dam damaging to our faith. It's a spirit of fear that destroys us. Another verse that comes to mind when fear is mentioned is Psalms 23 and verse 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. You are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. God is always there for us, and he'll comfort us through our worry. 
So remember, Mary chose the better part. She chose to not let worry rob her of, of the joy our Lord brings us. This is the same mindset, uh, mindset we should have as Christians. Now, as we mentioned before, when we lose trust in God and think about how we have to handle our problems, we forget that God is there to help us through them. Worry is a surrender to fear. It's a lack of faith, it's a lack of trust, and it's putting our problems first. Now, if you only take one thing from this lesson tonight, I want you to remember, our Lord gives us strength. He enables us, He gives us confidence, and He protects us. So tonight, I want to encourage you all to choose the better part, like Mary did. Maybe tonight there are some who, some of you have, who have been making their problems um, their number one priority. Maybe you need to ask for prayers from the congregation to remember, as we mentioned, our Lord gives us strength. Or maybe there's someone here tonight who hasn't put on our Lord in baptism. I can assure you, when you do, our Lord will enable you and give you confidence and He'll protect you. Whatever your need is, please come forward as we stand and as we sing.